Hey everyone, welcome back to the Movement Education Series. Today we are in episode two, and we are gonna be talking about crawling. So crawling is definitely a unique approach to exercise, especially for adults, because we tend to uh, only associate crawling with young children like babies learning how to move around on the ground. And it certainly is very important for children uh, because it's a developmental stage that allows them to develop the requisite strength um, and coordination to be able to eventually stand up on their feet and walk and run. Well, we can already walk and run on our feet as adults, so why would we want to crawl? Well. Crawling um, is, is great because, like I've said in my previous videos, in a, in a modern Western lifestyle, we tend to spend a lot of time sitting. We, and, and with sitting, not only do we suffer in terms of our flexibility, our joint health, and our strength, but we also tend to lose awareness of our body and the ability to use our body as one unit. So crawling is a great drill, a great movement, great exercise to help restore that um, awareness, that coordination, uh, that's really gonna be important for a lot of the things that we do on our feet. So in addition to enhanced coordination, uh, crawling is also gonna be really good for um, building strength in our hands and our wrists, um, our shoulders. It's also gonna help us uh, to develop the, the core or the midsection, the trunk area, in a functional manner. And it's gonna, like I said, help tie our upper body to our lower body too, so that when we're up on our feet and we're doing things like walking, running, playing sports, um, things that are gonna use, be using opposing arm and leg movement, uh, that is also gonna be uh, benefited as well, just because we have better communication uh, between those areas of our body. So um, check out these crawling progressions, give them a try, and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Okay, so the first progression of crawling that I like to start people with is just gonna be simply being on their hands and their knees. So what I'm gonna do here is similar to the rocking that I showed you in the resting squat video. Uh, I'm just gonna have my hands, uh, my wrists underneath my shoulders, my knees under my hips, and just staying where I am, I'm gonna lift the opposite hand and leg off the ground, and then I'm gonna alternate. And I'm just gonna go back and forth, trying to have as little movement in my body as possible just lifting that opposite hand and foot at the same time. Now, in addition to doing this in place, we can also travel or locomote from one place to a, a, another. So what that would look like here with my hands and knees is just, again, opposite hand and foot movement, going forward, going backwards, same thing. It's, I suggest starting out on the hands and knees because Although we tend to walk, and, or yeah, we, we, we walk, we run, we throw, and, and uh, kick with opposing arm and leg movement, many adults, um, when they first try to come back to crawling, they have a difficult time with that opposite hand and leg movement. So what ends up happening is they end up doing something more like this, where it's same side hand and leg movement. And that's really um, awkward, and it's really not what we're going for. We want, like I said, opposite hand and foot. So when you're when you're crawling, whether it's moving or in place, really thinking of setting down and lifting up the opposite hand and foot at the exact same time. So once you get that down, once I'd say you you, you can crawl comfortably, um, again forward back in, in in place for at least a minute, then you might be ready to progress on to uh, the more challenging variation, which is then going to be up on our hands and our feet. So from here, it's the same position. I'm just lifting my knees off the ground. And again, I'm gonna lift the opposite hand and foot, set it down. Opposite hand and foot, set it down. Now, like I said, this is a great way to coordinate your upper body and your lower body, or to connect it, because you really have to learn how to balance when performing these movements. Same thing, I can add that I can do the same crawl forward or back, okay? Opposite, opposite, and you can notice when I'm doing this, this isn't like a typical bear crawl like you might have done when you were in middle school where you know my butt's way up in the air and I'm just kind of lumbering across. I'm being very deliberate and intentional with moving my hands and feet. So again, my torso now is, like I said, level. Hips and shoulders are about the same level. And I'm just, again, lifting back and forth. You can tell, maybe you can't, but 
I'm breathing fairly hard um, for just doing that activity. So it doesn't look like much, but um, you're using your whole body to coordinate that movement. Um, typically how, or I guess how I recommend implementing this is using this as part of a warm up. You can use it as conditioning at like the end of your workout um, or just during, doing, during a movement flow at any time of the day just to get your body moving. I suggest, if you, can, if you haven't done this before, just like the squatting, be smart, uh, use common sense. You know, if, if you uh, try to do too much too soon, you could get hurt. So um, again, I'd maybe just start with uh, something small like setting a timer for 20 or 30 seconds and just crawling and starting on the hands and knees first uh, and then eventually progressing up onto your feet. Um, and then you can build up your time from there. You can try doing sets of 60 seconds uh, or longer. You can try to crawl for distance, but I like the timer because it, it kind of gives you an idea. And again, it, similar to timing your squatting, it kind of allows you to be able to progress crawling over time by again, adding time and or adding distance. So um, I hope that information was helpful. Um, I hope you can try this, you can implement this into your uh, routine. Um, so give it a try, let me know how it goes for you, and I will see you in the next episode.